It was just kind of this ghost-like building that no one really talked about. We'd always pass it on the way to football games. I'd be like, I wonder what this is. Oh, that's Manzanita. There was a building there called Manzanita Hall, and it had 15 floors, and it had all ranges of ages. The top floors were graduate students, so we freshmen couldn't bother them. First two weeks, the elevator didn't work, and those graduate students got to walk 15 floors. It, we, the rest of us sat there clapping. But what happened eventually is that became a 15-story freshman facility. You could easily walk into that facility and not know anybody, 1,500 other people. What they eventually did there was to take each floor of about 100 and some students and make it a community. Living in a dorm like Manzanita, it's an important place where you make your friends, you make connections that will last throughout your college career. And I think the students today make those same kinds of connections and friendships that I did back in the 70s. But I think that's still an important role that residence halls play is that face-to-face in-person connection that you develop just being in the halls together, being in the lounges, dining together. Manzanita is providing an opportunity for 800 freshmen to really be able to you know, make friends, get involved in the community, utilize a lot of the academic resources that are in the building, connect with faculty and staff for, with their college um, right there in the building, in the dining halls, in the business center, in the classroom spaces. That's a real tremendous asset to any student living on campus, and it's certainly going to ensure the success of those students in, in terms of their ability to persist through their freshman year and to continue on for graduation at ASU. It really just has everything under one roof. I mean, other residence halls, they're, I mean, they've got things for residents to do. There's spaces and things to like, to, for studying and fun things to do, but not at all like this capacity. I really like this building. I actually applied really early just to get this building because I knew that it was supposed to be really advanced and have all the newest technology. Futuristic and contemporary looking, like a, like a luxury apartment building. I don't even feel like I'm in a dorm room. One of my favorite common areas here is probably the basement. They have a bunch of games and you have your study room so you can find a nice quiet place to sit down and do your math homework or something like that. My personal favorite thing would be the lounges. I just love how you can see the, tri the you know, original triangular structure. I have to like remind myself that I'm in a historic building and I just love it. I love the views from the 15th floor of Manzanita as you look out on the Valley of the Sun and uh, imagine your future and what the future holds for you as a, as a young person living in a facility like that, surrounded by academic support services and colleagues who, who have dreams and aspirations that are common to yours and who can challenge your thinking, reinvigorate your, your energy, and help you pursue your dreams and aspirations. I think it's a terrific facility and we couldn't be more pleased. Hearing the stories and hearing the history and understanding the iconic nature and what this building means to this university and to this city, to the students who have lived here and will live here. That's something that goes far beyond real estate and sticks and mortar, but it's the culture and the soul of an institution and what it stands for.